Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me at the writer's table with This Is Improv. My name is Angelica, and today we're gonna to be learning about writing for current events. I love using current events while writing. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean the news, it doesn't necessarily have to mean anything crazy going on. It's as easy as picking out something that's going on that appears on BuzzFeed and using it for your scene. The cool thing about writing about current events is that it really plays into the satire aspect of improv, which is really what improv started out doing when we started performing. Then once we get our ideas on the stage, the audience gets to put in their input, letting us know, do we agree with what you think about the current events? And if not, what would really change our mind? It's really playing to the power of the people or the audience. In fact, one of the first improv companies, The Second City, used this method to interact a little bit better with their audience, using things that people were familiar with and placing that commentary on top of it, making it a little bit more entertaining. So what you're going to do is you're going to go online or get some physical material that contains the news, like a newspaper, and take out articles that really interest you, something that speaks to your interests, because it's always better to write about something that interests you. That makes it a little bit more interesting for people who really understand what that content is about. For example, I like video games. So I would go online, I would look for an article on Story of Seasons, and I would take that little slice of news and use it for my sketch. Then what you do is you look through that article and pick out little details that interest you. So for example, using my video game Story of Seasons article idea, I might look into what the writer has to say about Story of Seasons. So if they say that the dialogue is mundane but the characters are quirky and fun, I would play that up in my sketch. So it's going to be a character driven scene. And that's the next step. You want to use the who, where, and what to create this scene. It's the foundation of every scene you're going to write. So our sketch is already halfway there. We have the characters that are going to be strong, and those characters are going to be based off of the video game. If you're doing a news article, it would be on the people that they're talking about in the news article. If you were doing something locally, you would talk about the people in town. We also want to find our where. For me, I have my where in this article because they're talking about the video game. So I would write my story to fit that video game world. So a farm, it's already there for you in that news article. The next thing we're going to look at is the what. So look at that newspaper article, look at that current event and pick out what the person is trying to say. Think about what you feel about what the person writing that article has to say. Pick your stance, make a choice say something when you're writing this sketch. This is really your chance to add your own commentary to this grand narrative of what's going on in the news. So choose wisely, but make big decisions. It's more fun that way. For example, with my video game sketch, I might have, because the writer said that the character's dialogue is kind of, you know, mundane, but the characters are really quirky, I would write a fish out of water scene where my character is the only normal character in the scene and the other characters are giving the same dialogue over and over, no matter what my main character has to say and these characters will be quirky as well. The point and what's going on is that my character is the only one saying different things in this town while the other characters are repeating themselves over and over. And finally, you want the moral to your sketch. And again, we talked about this before, it's really up to you how you include your moral. This is going to make it so that the story has a purpose. So what are you trying to say? What is the satire really going to be talking about and pointing focus towards in our real life when you're writing this sketch? So this is going to act a little bit differently than the what in a satire or in looking at these current events because you're really drawing focus to what you want the world to understand about what's going on in this current event. 
How do you feel about it? Do you think things should be different? This is your chance to say it. And those are some quick tips on how to write about current events for your sketch. I hope that you guys use this and create some awesome things because taking a look at the world around you and using it for your sketches is a lot of fun. And you get to communicate with others in a different and unique way when you do this. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. If you would like to share any of your sketches with us, feel free to DM us, message us, send it along, tag us in whatever work that you create on your own. If you'd like any extra help writing, we do have private classes and group classes where you can test out your writing in front of others and get an extra eye on what you've written on your own. Also take the time to look in our comments where you can educate yourself and take action with some of our links. My name is Angelica and thank you for joining me at the writer's table with This Is Improv.